this is Brian of Triphonic and today I'm going to be talking about um, groove templates uh, and uh, some of the features in Logic 9. I listen to a lot uh, to a producer named Burial. In any case, he always has interesting drum patterns and interesting rhythms um, and legend has it that he doesn't even use really a sequencer, he uses sound forge and just cuts and pastes audio slices. So any case, uh, I don't really want to do that, but I want to learn what I can from his rhythm. Here's Barry Lynn. So that's the track Ghost Hardware. It's got a really cool rhythm to it. So um, I wanted to explore the new audio warping features or the flex audio in Logic 9 and uh, groove templates. So um, I decided that I would try to extract the groove from uh, one measure of Ghost Hardware. So I'll show you what I was able to do um, by applying that groove to some things and I was just exploring uh, the flex audio and sort of the French cut up electro style. So here we go. That was one little thing I came up with, and then another. So both those, um, I applied the uh, the burial um, groove to the ultra beat, which is doing the drums, um, and some of the audio files to just give it a little bit of that swing, and then obviously I was going more for kind of an electro French style. Um, French style vibe. Anyway, let me show you how you'd go about uh, extracting a groove from an audio file such as this Burial Ghost Hardware. So I have this one measure of uh, Burial's Ghost Hardware here and I have it just looping in the sample editor. So the first thing I want to do is find the tempo. Now I already did this, um, it's about 135, 136-ish, but the way you do it is you uh, crop out exactly um, one measure and put it in the arrange and then what you're going to do is um, select the cycle region with your locators to be just the length that it's supposed to be. So this is supposed to be one measure long um, and then what I can hit is command T and it will change the tempo um, and it will show me sort of what the tempo is so it's, it's about 136 ish so put that in um, and uh, but really what I want to capture about this is the swing so um, it's not everything lines up exactly on grid and that's what gives it the feel that it has that I like so much and that's what I want to be able to apply to my own music and own things so, um, cool thing about Logic 9, it has this transient editing mode, and this is where it detects the transients, um, and you can adjust its detection, and this is how it can also do uh, its groove extraction um, and uh, sort of uh, flexible audio stuff. So, um, you hit this button, and now you're in transient editing mode. Um, and then what I can do is use the plus or minus buttons to uh, detect less or more or adjust the sensitivity of the transient detection. Usually it does an okay job, but there's some extras um, and so you, you know usually end up decreasing the amount. Um, and um, then you can also go in and use the eraser tool, delete out the extra ones um, or add them in. And uh, so I can audition each um, each transient as well by double clicking on it. It just highlights that section. Um, and I can listen to each one. So this is each different hit. When, when you do this you want to make sure to zoom in really far and make sure that it's right on the transient because um, sometimes its auto detection isn't quite right. But it's pretty good. 
I can enable the flex audio, which is um, what allows me to do crazy time stretching and things like that. So I can hit Command F, um, and that brings me into flex mode, and then I have my choices of which algorithm I wanted to use. So um, I'm not going to go through all these today, but slicing is a way where it doesn't really do any time stretching. It's just slicing at the transients, kind of like recycle style. Um, so I have it in slicing and now I can see the transients and if I wanted to stretch or adjust things I could do that or if I change the tempo of this um, this project it's going to stretch out accordingly and I can do things like you know scale this out make it twice as long and in slice mode you can see it just sort of sliced it up um, and uh, if you want to hear what that sounds like uh, let's... <laughs> And you can get interesting stuff with the other modes, so, for example, monophonic. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Now, um, when I have this track flex enabled, um, what's great is that I've got this quantize menu over here in my inspector. So, um, uh, so normally what I could do is I could quantize this, actually get it in perfect time, um, or there's this make groove template. So I already did that, and it takes on the name of the audio file, so I have this burial groove. But the great part is that I can apply this groove to other things, and that's sort of what I want to demonstrate. So I have this um, this, this thing in Ultra Beat here, and um, I'll play it for you. So yeah, that's the Trance Remix Kit, and uh, basically I dragged... Um, one of its preset patterns into uh, the arrangement here so that I could um, you know make some adjustments if need be but anyway let's see what happens when I apply the burial groove template so I can see stuff moved around let's hear this so let's hear it without that again so unquantized And then here's the uh, the burial groove. So pretty crazy stuff. Um, and um, then of course I can apply it to other audio files as well. So let's see. I'll just pull in an Apple loop. So let's hear Club Beat 27. Uh, hear what that sounds like. Here it is straight up. Okay, and let's hear it with the uh, burial groove applied. Sounds a little bit like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, which wasn't exactly my goal, but in any case, you can see that this works and you know you can put it to good musical use.